Hello everyone. Welcome to the next lecture in Theory of Computation. And in this lecture, we will be seeing an example about our DFA or Deterministic Finite Automata. We shall be seeing how to design a particular DFA in this example. Alright, so let's get started. Okay, so we have an example here, which is a language L1, which is a set of all strings that starts with zero. L1 is a language, which is a set of all strings that starts with zero. And we need to design a deterministic finite automata or DFA for this language L1. So let's see how we can do that. But before starting that, let us see what will be the elements in this set. Now, since this is a set of all strings that starts with zero, the elements in this set would be like zero, 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 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, and so on. This is actually an infinite set because any string that starts with 0 is present in this language L1. Okay, now let's see how we can design the DFA for this. So, whenever you start a DFA, you should always start with a state which is my initial state or start state. So I already told you in the previous lecture that whenever you see an arrow coming from nowhere pointing to a state, that shows that that is the starting state. So A is my starting state. So I'm starting with A. Now, if I get input 0 in A, what will happen? And if I get input 1 in A, what will happen? Let's see what should we do. Suppose I get input 0 in this A, I send it to another state which I call B. Okay? And I put a double circle around this B. Now, what is the meaning of this double circle? Double circle means this is the final state. When you see a double circle, it always means that this is the final state. Now, when I get, give input 0 to A, it goes to B. Now, why is that? That is because I am to design a DFA that accepts all string that starts with 0. So A is my starting state and I am get, I'm getting input 0. That means 0 is the first digit. And when 0 is the first digit, it goes to B. B, which is the final state. And whenever a string reaches the final state, that means that string is accepted. And whenever a string does not reach the final state, that means it is rejected. So whenever I am starting with 0, it should reach the final state because it should be accepted. Why? Because I am to design a, uh, a DFA for all strings that starts with 0. Okay. Now I am in state B. And in state B, after reaching state B, in B also I can either get inputs 0 or 1. So what will happen if I get either 0 or 1? Since B is the final state, I'll give a self loop here and I'll write 0 or 1. So what does this mean? This means that after reaching this final state B, Whatever input you get after that, whether it is 0 or 1, it stays in the final state B itself. Okay? Because the string started from 0, and our only condition is that it should start with 0. So it starts with 0, and after it reaches the final, reaches the final state, whether it is 0 or 1, it doesn't matter. It stays in the final state, and that string will be accepted. Okay? I hope that was clear. And now, is this complete? No, this DFA is not complete. Why? Because we already mentioned what will happen if A gets the input 0? But we did not mention what will happen if A gets the input 1. So, A is my starting state and if I get input 1, that means 1 is the first digit. And should that be accepted or not? No, it should not be accepted. I should accept only those strings which start with 0. So, if it starts with 1, what will happen? I'll send it to another state which I call state C. Okay, I send it to another state called state C when the input is 1. When the input is 1, it goes to state C and in state C, after reaching state C, whatever input I get in state C, it stays in state C itself, whether it is 0 or 1. Okay, so if, I, if a string starts with 1, this is my starting state. If it starts with 1, it goes to state C. And after reaching state C, whether it is 0 or 1, after you, whether you get 0 or 1, it stays in state C itself. And it cannot 
go back to this final state anymore okay it cannot go to this final state anymore so this kind of state is known as dead state dead state or it's also known as trap state trap state why is it known as dead state or trap state because once you reach here it, it is trapped over here it cannot reach the final state anymore which is b okay and when a string cannot reach its final state that string will be rejected okay so now my dfa is complete because i have already mentioned in a if i get zero it goes to b it gets one it goes to c it's complete and in b whether it is zero or one it stays in b itself and in c whether it is zero or one it stays in c itself now my dfa is complete now i have designed the dfa for the set of all strings that starts with zero okay now let us check if this is correct let us take a few two examples to see if this is working so in my first example let me take an example i want to check the string 001 okay so i'm going to check for the string 001 so it always starts from my initial state my initial state initial state which is a i start from state a right because a is my initial state and i get input i give input 0 on getting input 0 what happens a goes to b a goes to b and the next input is 0 again so i am right now in state b right and if i get input 0 what happens b it stays in b itself it stays in b itself and then the next one is the next input is 1 so what will happen i am in state b and if i get input 1 what happens it still stays in state b right and here i reach the end of the string and at the end of the string what is my position i am in b i am in b and b is it the final state yes it is the final state b is the final state right so since b is the final state this string should be accepted why it could start from the initial state and it reached the final state since it could reach the final state this is accepted all right now let's take another example example number two is one zero one again i start from my initial state what is my initial state it is a and I get the input 1. 1 is the first input. And on getting input 1, where does A go? It goes to state C. Goes to state C. And I'm in state C, and the next input is 0. So on getting input 0, what happens? I'm in state C, and when state C gets input 0, what happens? It stays in C itself. It stays in C itself. Okay? And what is the next input? It is 1. So what happens when I get input 1? I'm in state C, right? And when I get input 1, what happens? It stays in state C. St still stays in state C. And now I've reached the end of the string, right? And where am I at the end of the string? I'm in state C. I'm in state C. And is C the final state? No, I don't see any double circle around here. That means C is not the final state. C is not final state. So, since this string started from the initial state but could not reach the final state, this string is not accepted. It is rejected. So, we see that when the string, when this string started with 0, it was accepted. But this string, as it started from 1, it was not accepted. So, we have successfully designed a DFA for all strings that starts with 0. And these examples are the proof for that. So, I hope that was clear. In the next lecture, we will be seeing some more examples. So, thank you for watching and see you in the next one.